In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly create a matrix of shapes in Visio, but the video is really more about using the repeating functions than about creating a matrix of shapes, but you'll find they go hand in hand. So let's just start a new blank drawing, and you can see we've got the, the grid is on, we don't really need the ruler, so let's go and turn that off, and we'll hide the shapes window a little bit and zoom in. Now what I want to do is start with just a generic box, which I'll use the rectangle tool to create. And you'll notice that as you draw when the grid is visible, Visio helps you to snap to nice even sizes. So I'm just going to make sure I continue doing that and I'll show you why in a second. So now we've got one shape and we can duplicate it using the duplicate function. And you'll see that since we snapped to integral grid units, it's easy to add new shapes and line them up and abut them even without using the auto align and space. Auto align and space won't help you actually stick shapes up against each other and I have it I actually have it turned off for this drawing. Now what's interesting is if you use control drag and I've pushed down the control key and now I've clicked and dragged a new shape if I exactly line it up with the previous shape then I can hit the redo function up here and repeat the duplication as much as I want. I'm going to start over just to show this a little bit more clearly. Another thing you can do is you press the control key, start dragging your duplicate, and then if you now push the shift key, you can constrain the duplicate to either go in the horizontal direction or the vertical. You can see as my mouse moves into the middle, the shape doesn't follow the mouse. It only goes in the horizontal or vertical directions. So I'll just exactly duplicate that and abut it to the next shape. And now, instead of hitting the repeat duplicate function, I'll just hit F4 because F4 repeats the last action. So boom, 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 boom. F4, F4, F4. And I can quickly create a row of shapes. Let's move them back onto the page again. Now similarly, I could create columns by control dragging, hitting F4, F4. But instead of just doing one column at a time, so you can draw a net, drag a net selection around the whole row and create all the columns at once. So I'll hold control key to create duplicates, hold shift to make sure it's constrained vertically, uh, horizontally, and let go. They all remain selected, so I hit F4, 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 F4. And there you have it. Now it might be that you don't want your shapes to be an exact multiple of the grid, but now that you have a matrix that's in this case six by six, you can easily resize it to any size you want and all those shapes will maintain equal sizing. Now you can continue this on uh, if you wanted to add some text to the shapes we could say well let's start here header typed in the header and now we can select the rest of the shapes and hit F4. We could say do the same thing here. I should probably type in something like row header and column header, but it'll just doesn't really matter for now. And then we can duplicate the text, and we can do the same thing with formatting. Now, in this case, I want all of the header cells to be a, a different color than the main body. So first I drag a net around the top, then I push the shift key and drag another net around the sides. This is an easy way to multiply select shapes that you can't really drag a net around of in one fell swoop. So now that I've got all these selected, we can even check that we've got them selected by moving them, and sure enough they are. Now we just hit Control Z or Undo to put them back. Now we can easily add a fill color, such as a dark gray. Maybe we'll change the header to have a white bold, and we can even add some placeholder text here and apply that to all the shapes in the matrix. So you're not likely to create something like this as a finished product, but you can see it's easy to get started, create a matrix of shapes, put some placeholder text in it, do some formatting quickly, and it's really all thanks to the repeat function, or F4, as I like to use. So that's creating a grid of shapes, and remember that you can either use repeat last function or press F4 to repeat the last action that you performed, and you can get work done a lot more quickly in Visio.